what's up guys we're gonna real beats today i'm gonna be showing you how to make industry style synth bases in omnisphere so let's just get started and these synth bases would be like those atmospheric synth bases with like vocals in them or just like a weird instrument to give it like a more ambient feel so let's just make that right now so the first thing that i would do is come in here and click on solo all right that's the first thing and then you can mess this cutoff um they do have filters here and if you want to filter preset i just put it around here it's like right there one fourth of the way but yeah i usually just put this cutoff right before the c okay so let's come in here actually let's mute this part and then i'm going to take this pitch and put it down to negative 24 and that way you can hear every sound that you're going to choose as if it was a bass so right rather than hearing it as like a lead or something so let's turn this up a little bit uh right there so i'm going to click here and go to one that i usually use which is the ground shaker but you can choose and experiment with whatever you want but let's just choose this real quick and this is what this preset sounds like so i'm going to mess with these knobs and just go up and down to show you what these do I'm gonna keep mine right there and here's the second one so like that one and this will change your sound dramatically so yeah just beware when using this and i typically don't even change this one so yeah so now everything is set we have everything here that we need so the next thing you want to do is click on this unison tab so double click it and turn it on and now this will make it sound more like a synth bass now but we're not done yet let's go to effects go to a okay because that's where our bass is at go to dynamics and go to modern compressor you can use vintage or whatever but i just use modern i'll turn this limiter on and yeah that's pretty much it so now i'll play this with the melody that i made for this so i'll play it and you can see that it actually sounds like a synth bass now okay so it sounds pretty good to me but now we got to add the second part to it it's going to make it sound like that industry type of synth bass here so let's go to click on b make sure this is on sample let's click on empty now make sure this is on core library this is very important put it on core library now the one that i use is phrases you can't experiment with some of these or these other ones but i just use the phrases because they're like dynamic and they just have different type of you know people they say things or they like have you know yodels and stuff and so i use the song phrases solo now I'm gonna just click around and just show you what these will sound like. So I'm actually liking this one because it's pretty simple and it's not doing all this yodeling and stuff. So I'm gonna use this one. I'm actually favorite this. So like with these yodels and stuff, you're gonna need to transpose it or you could try reversing the, the sound to get a you know better sound because it's just gonna sound dry. So the first thing that I'm gonna do before I even do all this transposing, I'm gonna actually go to this granular tab, double click it, go to position, and then turn it on and it should sound a little bit more ambient now all right so now let's go to main over here and now we're going to transpose it so actually i'm gonna mute this bass real quick let's go back okay i don't know why it's freezing okay so now it finally worked but yeah let's go here 
click on there go to main and we're going to use this transpose tab now we can just play this with the melody okay now you can reverse it i will suggest reversing these sounds they sound a lot better and if it doesn't really go well with the melody you can try reversing it as well if you you know because it might sound better i don't know let's reverse this and then we can just redo it okay so i like that so now we're at a good start so now we just gotta add effects and adjust this amp here we're pretty much done now i would so just putting this filter on because those really high pitched sounds may clash a little bit with your melody. So we just put this on. All right, that should be good. Now let's turn this attack. All right, we could turn it up about here. The same as the decay. And it's just so it doesn't like play right away. Give you room for the bass. Turn this knob down. All right. So we're sounding, sounding pretty good so far. So now we just gotta add the effects and this is the last thing you have to do. And then you have your synth bass. So in order, this is in order. We're gonna go to delay, BPM delay times two. And we're just gonna turn it up to about 30%. And then your reverb, pro reverb, turn it up to 50%. You can turn it up higher if you really want to and the dynamics modern compressor oh wait wait the tape slammer all right yeah for this one we did modern and then this one we're gonna do tape slammer okay and then this is what your bass should sound like let's actually turn this down a bit All right, that's pretty good. So now I'm just gonna play this with the melody so you can hear what it sounds like. All right, and you can get really creative with this. So if you want, you can click on this filter here, right click on cutoff. Okay, this is just like a bonus. Go to modulate and then modulate with LFO and this will pop up and then you can kind of adjust this. I'll just put it at the bottom and then click on sync down here and then you can change the rate. I think maybe one eighth will sound good. Let's just see. You have to kind of modify it a bit. bass sounds pretty good i might save that but yeah that's how you make an industry style synth bass hopefully this video helped you out like comment subscribe especially if you are new and i'll see you in the next one peace